Yo, welcome back to the crazy house. It is Cairo Suave, formerly known as Cardio Rich. And this is the episode before last. It's a wrap, y'all. Finale is going to be in Atlanta. But I'm actually back at home. I'm in Charlotte. You feel me? I done found a little home in Charlotte, Queen City, 704, all of that. And uh, yeah, let me let me just show y'all a little bit of the city real quick. And uh, we going to get into this. And then we got some more house bosses drama. The group chat going crazy right now. I'm going to get this to y'all in real time. So, yeah, we're going to deal with that. And then uh, we're going to go to the finale, which is the full Duquesne interview. Tap in. Welcome to the motherfucking crazy. <laughs> oh, my God, cardio. <laughs> oh, hey. We gonna be that Did the realest nigga in Charlotte just pull up on me? Hey, you did. Go so. What up, baby? Hey, don't talk to me about work until you do something like this for a video. Don't talk to me about work. I am scared as hell up here, but I'm doing this for y'all. I'm risking my life for y'all entertainment. As Disco Rick would say, this bitch gonna kill herself. I'ma shoot this video so I can get fucked down. Hey. Alright, so before we get into Charlotte, before we get back into this house boss group chat drama, I would like to pay my respect and pay my homage to the people before me. So I'm going to give y'all the full Drink Champs interview, and I'm going to give y'all the full Jerry Springer episode. Rest in peace to the late, great King of Reality TV motherfucking Jerry Springer, one of the greatest to ever do it. Shout out to Nori, EFN, Drink Champs. If it wasn't for motherfucking Drink Champs, there would be no Polyfly podcast. So I'm going to pay my homage. And uh, yeah, welcome to the motherfucking crazy house. You dig? And the only reason I'm doing this is because I just had somebody in my group chat talking about, oh, you keep posting old clips, you keep posting old clips. I'm sorry y'all never did no legendary shit ever in your fucking life. And I done did it mad fucking time. So I don't give a damn. It's old clips with the new clips. This is a whole new show. And y'all still hating? And we ain't even finna get into that, man. I'm about to get y'all this. And then we gonna go into Charlotte. And then we gonna go into this house boss drama. And then we gonna end the fucking road. Because I'm about sick of the crazy house. Season one is over. Season two casting over. <laughs> 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 Who did the drive-by? Who did the drive-by back then? Uh, this is Star. That's combined. the gangster right now, there. Now let me tell you about Star. It's a G. With Star, it works because it's mm. like with Star Cavalli, she's almost like the assistant because mm. it's like with me, if I don't knock it down, I'm like Star, go get her, knock this girl down, <laughs> for her. and Star will go put in the definite work. Yeah, yeah. You, it's easy. You heard a young M.A. Yeah, that's the homie of right course. there. Bigger up, of course. Big love, up. it's always love. All right, that's what's up. That's love what's to everybody, up. right? Definitely. <laughs> oh, you right. got another one. From other people, yeah. Get the listen, listen, man. I can never, yes. Man, I'm already, you already got my vote. You could have been anywhere yeah. in the world, but you're here with us you're tonight. We're us. running for me. Name the names again Chaos and this is Chaos and this is Mink. Mink and this is Stark Mink. Mink. And, Mink. and Mink. this is Stark like Cavalli. Stark Cavalli makes it happen. Stark Cavalli? Oh, okay. So these are all your girls, Stark Cavalli? Like that, like, like. <laughs> Star Cavalli works with me. Hand I on. Star Cavalli huh? works Hammer? with me. With everybody. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So go to Mike. Um, what's Star Cavalli? Oh, yeah. I drank, I drank <laughs> Roberto Cavalli vodka before. It was nice. That okay. part. Mm. Star Cavalli basically mm. is right. the one where if we see something, and if I mm. see something, and I'm not participating at the mm. time. Star will go knock it down the recruiter. and bring it back. You got to get all. <laughs> you you got to so cover from all sides. Get, you got to get somebody. You so, know, like, like, like when it's time, Star, Star's the one where I'd be like, look. Oh, shit, it's another what are we doing? one. Goddamn it. What's going on? This nigga's DJ Collar <laughs> right now. He got another one. All right, so listen. All right, so do, let me ask you something. Now, I, I presume you're gay, correct? That's cool, right? I'm talking to you, Star. Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah of yeah, course. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So do you think men eat pussy good? 
or you think we have no chance you when it comes back? No we have no, no chance. chance. Like, like, let's move, let's move. All right, cool. He just look like, look, hey, look, right. Let's move you and him. <laughs> Bag the same <laughs> chance. Right. right. Come out. Uh, I'm throwing you under the bus. It's okay. Your girl's not here. All right, listen. This is a, it is a totally example, right? right. Suppose y'all both bag a chick. And I'm not talking looks. I'm not talking none of that. Right. And then the chick says, whoever is going to eat my pussy better for 20 minutes. Right. Who do you think wins? The chick knows the lay of the land Stop. better, man. I just want to know her. Who do you think wins? You or my nigga with the beard? He got experience. <laughs> it might not take 20 minutes. See, he can start and play. Right, God damn it. Oh, what it is. God damn it. My, she my, knows the lay of the land. Well, all right, all right. So explain that to us. What do we don't know what we're doing? Um, I don't really know. I kind of just focus on the finish line. It's like, you know, you got to catch the, the ball. Line. If you I'm, see that? If That's I'm looking ball. at you, I can't catch the ball. Chill, okay? son, chill. I got to catch the ball. Chill. Like, I'm out of here. Too much, uh, I'm going to the, the end zone. finish line. The finish line. You heard that? The finish line. But are you comfortable with me asking you, like, have you ever been with a man? Just like, kill yeah, you. of course. Yeah, of course. And what I'm did he didn't do for you <laughs> that made you go to the other side? It wasn't really that. Women are just beautiful. I agree with you. God damn it. We all agree with that. What, what, so what do you want to be called? Um, like, like I'm just know. a woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. In my then in my heart, I'm just a woman as well. I'm just a woman as well. I love women, goddamn it, goddamn. No, God damn God damn. no I, I just love this because you know why? Yeah. You know, this is a chance for our audience to be educated as well because you know. The thing about drink champs is we accept transgender, we accept whatever, right. whatever, whatever. If you want to listen to us, right. you want to be a part of us, you want to get a drink ain't champ no shirt. Ain't no judging. We don't judge you any color, race, national, creed. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what I'm saying we is don't judge him. whatever the fuck you want to be, and you want to be a part of the drink champs. Yes. we accept you. Definitely. We don't. It, there's no stipulations. There's no motherfucking. You know what I mean? Whatever. whatever. It's everybody right. under the hip hop. Flag. Everybody under the hip hop flag. We don't care if you gay. We don't care if you burgundy. We don't care if you, you we, 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 your pro, that's a new color. Right. And we don't give a fuck. Valley right here. Nah, come on, get the mic. Do you get the mic? There's a couple million people listening to the Shout out 24K to model on Instagram. Mm. She's she trying to hide. Shout out her Instagram. I did it for her since she got high. At Star Cavalli, Star Cavalli. Star, talk to them, Star. Mm. Not Star that's right, that's right, Star. Star comes to knock Star Cavalli. Just look at that. I'm about to write you some rhymes, goddammit. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a writer. I'm a super writer. I'm putting you on, man. Let's go, let's go. Right Where you from though? Where you from though? You I'm from. I was born in New York, but oh, I lived wow. in Cali, Miami. I, I ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When you see me come in the club to start, mm. somebody's getting knocked down. Star's getting knocked down. So mm. it's like, look, over there, it's straight for the hunt. It's like, Star, who's that over there? Mm. <laughs> it's like it's like it just skips right to it. The before was like, can I take you to the movies? Now it's like, you want to study your pussy? It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, you just gonna skip right to it. Like, if, uh, can I doing? claim being a lesbian? Do lesbians make that? Like, do they maybe mad at me if I say turn I'm a lesbian? Mic, I do me. Everybody yeah. do you. Live your so life. I could, I could, I could, Everybody just live your life. So I could come to the lesbian conventions and they gonna kill, they gonna they gonna let me in. Do you? All right, you my nigga, know. my nigga. Let's make some noise, goddamn. <laughs> Yo, I know you, man. Yes. I want to show love to Miami and you beautiful ladies for coming out to Miami. It's all the 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 thing that you know that 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 that's helping us push, and we're gonna continue to do it. And we thank y'all for coming, man. DJ EFN. Remember September 10th, we're doing that Nori barbecue. I'm gonna fly back from Hawaii just to do this, and we're gonna keep going. And thank you so much, Akinelli, man. And yes. we're gonna now. What is your name as mayor? Is it going to um, be the Akinelli <laughs> Adams? You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us tonight. Thank you for coming out to Drink Champ. Yeah. Woo! Uh, what up? Yeah. Oh! 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 Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. How long we went, Hatch? That made me start a life mission to break her heart. A slow picture man again. Sometimes I do need two women to be happy. You're gonna fight for me, I'm not fighting.
right, my next guest, Chaos, says her stripper lifestyle gets her into a lot of trouble. Yeah. Please welcome Chaos to the show. That was spectacular. Thank Great you. job. Now, why are you here, Chaos? Well, I'm here because uh, I've been exotic dancing for about eight years now. <laughs> and and um, it's hard to find a relationship when you're an exotic dancer because you got to, like, part of your job yeah. is part of flirting, right? Yeah. So I happen to be lucky enough to actually have found a relationship. Uh, the problem is, I found two. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Um, the first girl, we've been together for like oh. four years, off and yes. on. Yes. Her name is Star, and she's like my Stevie J and I'm Jocelyn, or my Bonnie and Clyde, and she's like real masculine, and I can submit, and like, she's awesome. Like, she put my career in a whole other level. Okay. So our business relationship trickles over into our personal relationship, which makes things great. But the other girl uh, I've been dancing with, and we get money together and we had a booking for our birthday one year yeah it was in Jamaica <laughs> and so we went to Jamaica popped rosé made all this money <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and so after the party and after we you know made money and stuff we went back to the hotel we skinny dipped in the jacuzzi oh. <laughs> and then we went back upstairs and cleaned off took showers and then we had all the money all over like the room and stuff yeah. <laughs> yeah. it looked like one of those instagram memes like just everywhere so then or we're sitting in our towels like half wet hair still wet and she starts like rubbing on my leg oh. so, oh. i'm like all right i'm down for the business like you know And so, um, so, so you had a relationship with her as well. Yes. So you're here to what? To choose among the, yes. between the two? Yes, I yeah. am. I've been biting my nails off over this. Oh. Like. <laughs> yeah, I, that's I noticed. Yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, oh, we're going to bring out 24K now. Okay, this is the one that uh, in, this is in my Jamaica. Lipstick lesbian lover. Yes. <laughs> hey, 24K.
basically, I'm not going to play no games with you. You know how I feel. So, today, you're coming with me, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, well, why, why don't we bring out, uh, what's your name, Star, uh, the other uh, young woman, and then you can make whatever decision you're going to make, okay? Here is Star. <laughs> You have to choose between these two. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. Are you involved in a lesbian love triangle? If so, text Jerry to 88500. It's hard to find a relationship when you're an exotic dancer. I happen to be lucky enough to actually have found a relationship. Uh, the problem is, I found two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to play no games with you. You know how I feel. So, today, you're coming with me, right? <laughs> how you doing, Jerry? Hey, Star. I'll explain the money in a second. But, um, you, I sent y'all to Jamaica. Let's start there. <laughs> so, you love me, right? Yes, we've been there four years. You're gonna fight for me. I'm not fighting for you. So, this is what we gonna do. I think y'all should wrestle in some money. Listen, I got you. Yes, y'all. No, y'all. Y'all gonna fight in some money. This is how it's gonna go. If you pin her down, I'll walk away. I'll leave y'all alone. You pin her down, you got to get the hell on. That's how that's going to work out. Y'all want to see him fighting some money? Like this. Welcome to the Chili Dove Club. Hey, I told Shotty, don't call me Cardi, don't call me T, don't call me Star, call me Cairo. And when you spell my name, make sure you put the apostrophe above the E. Suave. Let's Shotty gon' drip like a Pisces. She shaking that ass like she like me. Where does she move and she dance like my diamonds? You know how I drip like a Pisces. Take her to the crib and drip like a Pisces. She shaking that ass like she like me. Where does she move and she dance like my diamonds? You know how I drip like a Pisces. Take her to the crib and drip like okay, a Pisces. Okay, look at the Shotty, she go off. She shaking that ass on me. Hold on, gotta move to the left, the strap to the right, and the safety ain't on it. Might go off undefeated. Let's go body for body. Baddies on baddies, this shit is a hobby. Been fucking this bitch for some years. He thinking he big dog. He ain't know nothing about. It. Ain't approaching the bitch she was choosing See the drip baby what you gon' do with it She wanna come drip with the crew Got a Leo burger when the oh, boom. So you know Rochester niggas I'm the same way I ain't gonna say all Rochester Is the same But he did his homework You know how I drip like a Pisces Take her to the crib and drip like a Pisces She shaking that ass like she like me Where did she move and she dance like my diamonds You know how I drip like a Pisces Take her to the crib and drip like a Pisces. She's shaking that ass like she like me. Where does she move and she dance like my diamonds? You know how I drip like a Pisces. Take her to the crib and drip like a Pisces. She's shaking that ass like she like me. Where does she move and she dance like my diamonds? You know how I drip like a Pisces. Take her to the crib and drip like a Pisces. <laughs> 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 <la
Pull up a flex, ah, uh, I'm uh, dripping finesse, ah, uh, ah, uh, pull up and flex, ah, uh, ah, uh, hit it with the Rico. Yeah. We working. We working. We working. We working. We working. She dance like my diamonds. You know how I drip like a Pisces. Take her to the crib and drip like a Pisces. She's shaking. You ain't even have to lie to me, baby. You ain't even have to lie to me, baby. What the fuck are you lying for? That's what I'm saying. Like, I got some things I want to address and some people I want to address it with. And I think that's what probably fly reloaded should be. But if they don't come back, I need some new ladies too. So, yeah, send in them tapes. Welcome to the crazy house. It's a rat. It's a rat. No scars on the bodies, though. We need nice quality. It's a rat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. You want to drive the boat? All this pink stuff for you? You got it? Drive the boat. She driving the boat. <laughs> it's your world, kid. I'm just going to the boat. Don't turn it up. We out. <laughs> Drip like a Pisces. She shaking that ass like she like me. Where does she move and she dance like my diamonds? You know how I do. I, like yeah, let me do one more. Let me do like the ad libs. She shaking that ass like she like me. Where does she move? Yeah, nah, let me do that. You know how I drip like a Pisces. Take her to the crib and drip like a Pisces. Alright, listen. <laughs> this is a, this is a totally an example, right? right. I suppose. Y'all both bag a chick. And I'm not talking looks, I'm not talking none of that. Right. And then the chick says, whoever else is gonna eat my pussy better for 20 minutes? Right. Who do you think wins? The chick knows the lay of the land Stop. better, man. I just wanna know her. Who do you think wins? You or my nigga with the beard? He got experience. <laughs> It might not take 20 minutes. See, we fine play. Oh God damn it. You know what it is. God damn it. She knows the lay of the land. Well, all right, all right. So explain that to us. What do we don't know what we're doing? Um, I don't really know. I kind of just focus on the finish line. It's like, you know, you got to catch the, the ball. Line. If I'm, see that? If I'm looking ball. at you, I can't catch the ball. Chair, I'm like, son, chair. I got to catch the ball. Chair. Like, I'm not here. Too much, son, chair. <laughs> To the the finish line. Line. You hear that? The finish well, are you comfortable with me asking you, like, have you ever been with a man? Just like, yeah, of back in the day? And what I'm did he woman. didn't do for you that made you go to. Lord, please, Jesus is the way. I swear, every time when I go online, you make me cringe because all the lies that you done told about me and other people and on your show and just people just in general, it's starting to come back and attack you like you put so much negative energy into the cosmos that the cosmos then came back and said, uh-uh, bitch, it's your turn. But I don't really even want to talk about you all bad no more because it's like I'm giving you ammunition to make it seem like I'm coming at you for no reason, but you are the same person that tried to set me up. I will never forgive you for how you tried to set me up. I wouldn't even care if... You was to fall down some stairs, break your cankle into a million pieces, bitch. I would not send you a card. I would not send you some Chick-fil-A. I would not send you no Whataburger because, bitch, you are already too big and you do not need no more calories on top of your calories. 
you don't like me, I don't like you, you are bogus, you are fake. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we would never have much together as friends. I don't do sneak shit to my friends, and that's why I'm still your likable character. Uh, like, let's be let's be real, Bobby. You came there, you talking about the, the goal was to make it through. Yeah, that was, but you sat there, you talked the shit, you did what you did and didn't want to sit there and point fingers. Don't point fingers when you was the motherfucker wanted to pop your shit. Then you want to sit there and say, I tried to make you and motherfucking me um, tropical fight. Tropical came in the house saying what he wanted to do. You decided to come through the door talking about you wanted to have a sit down. I call that a pussy move. I said what the fuck I said. Ain't nobody, you're that motherfucking big copping out. Period. Who the fuck gives a fuck that you went to prison? Bitch, you're on reality TV. Either know what you signed up for or sit the sit this one the fuck out. Bitch, it's not that hard. What you can do, bitch, is keep my motherfucking show and my name up out your motherfucking mouth, bitch. You don't even have a job and then before you had one, bitch. Let's be honest, bitch. You was working at, you was a fucking hotel receptionist. If that. I don't know what you did at the hotel, but I know you ain't got that motherfucker no more neither. <laughs> Your music is trash. You keep talking about this, that, and the third. What did you bring to the show? What did you bring to house bosses? Nothing. At this point, what did y'all do? <coughs> what did y'all do? You want to keep bringing up another bitch and another nigga problem like it's your problem. Bitch, you're beefing because of yourself, nigga. Like, you didn't have no chance to win the money. So what is you upset about? You popping it more than these motherfuckers popping it about the situation. You sound like you're clout chasing. You're a troller. At the end of the day, you're okay with being that, baby. That's sad. That's how you know you ain't going to make it nowhere. You're not making it nowhere. Period. Point blank. You had your bed took in. Then you want to talk about, I, I, I sat there and had them jump. What I'm not going to do is show no money. You got the money? You got money? Or is you going to pay the money? Is you going to give her her bands because you are so broke you went from saying it was one winner to two winners to a male and female winner but then you start talking about you was gonna get king noel and some other motherfuckers like you paying them to come to a reunion bitch nobody is coming to no fucking reunion like you trying to showboat some shit that you started and tried to literally get people hurt and put in fucking jail like the friends that you got should not be your friends because why would you put your real friends or the people that you trapping with or whatever in a predicament that they got to go to jail and on camera then you got mad that i was letting you know that either your cameraman or your friend messy recorded the shit while y'all was inside the boy fucking house like Regardless of whatever you try to say or do, you are bogus. Like, you cannot get from under that. Like, at the end of the day, you are a liability. Like, people like you end up getting people shot, stabbed, killed, and all this other stuff. And then be looking stupid in prison talking about something. I wish I ain't never do it. I wish I was at home with my mama. Like, girl, like, come on now. Before y'all go and run y'all motherfucking mouth about me saying, oh, I, I tried to get a cast member to get my motherfucking the transportation, that was not that. For one, I don't have a motherfucking driver's license. Half of fucking Houston don't have a driver's license. I don't have a driver's license. My, he offered to do that and said that's what he did for Pretty in Hood on, his, on another show. So I said, go ahead. And before y'all get to run y'all mouth, I knew... Pharaoh before any of my cast members know that I was on a show with Pharaoh. We did. We said we lived it. Like, come on now. It me and Pharaoh go back. Like this is year. This is two years now. So before y'all get to running y'all mouth and this, that, this and that, and the third, you don't know who wanted to help me out at the end of the day. You want to pop your shit and you didn't do your big one. You didn't deliver. You didn't come approachable, but you came looking like a big ass Pepto Bisbo. Like, you can't be mad at me because you didn't do your big one. You and one more thing. Why do you feel the need to have people around you to kiss your ass? I thought you was a bitch that did not like that shit. You tried your hardest to camouflage 
that you didn't like this and the third and the other, but like they say, you only keep a mask on on your face for so long before that motherfucker start to chip, crack, you know, just all of a sudden just fall off your fucking face. Like I said, your skin is too oily to put on the motherfucking mask because all that shit is going to do is break you out. Like I said, you always trying to call somebody dirty and all this other stuff. And you are the only person who done got in a tub and legit soap scum was looking sandy fucking brown. Like, I don't understand that. I know it's the South. I know you from Houston, but damn, like, I didn't know y'all was out there like that. Like... And then you be trying to make threats like a motherfucker scared of you in Houston. Bitch, I've been coming to Houston since I was a motherfucking toddler. Bitch, I used to go to a motherfucking SFAU in Nacogdoches, Texas. Bitch, who the fuck are you? Like, you don't have no sense of direction. You don't have no power or no D. You are the side hoe. You just got that uh, little ass apartment. But... I'm a supervisor now at my job. So let me get back to doing what I do best. Then the funny part about it, you so fucking scared of winter that you literally tried to make me message her and do all this other shit because you knew I was friends with her. Like I told any and everybody, even the people that who I'm friends with now, I said, I don't know how y'all going to feel, but I've been rocking with Winter since day one, since I first started, you know, doing this TV thing. And me and her has developed, a, you know, an online friendship and stuff like that. If I was to ever go to Vegas or whatever, I would most definitely meet her kick it with her. Well, I already met her because we was on your show, but you get what I mean. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you were so busy trying to make people not like me that it, all it did was just show you that I was the best motherfucking person on that show. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I'm shitting on you in life. I'm shitting on you financially. Even with your drug money, you could never touch the drug money that I ever touched in life fuck you mean like at the end of the day when it's all said and done i started from the bottom and now i'm here you started from the bottom and you still there you can't say that you this boss ass bitch trapping out of a motherfucking project with dirty fucking water pissy ass you know what i ain't even gonna say it pissy ass people all around and all types of shit like you are nasty like nasty Okay, so let's just let's just start it off like this. Like, <laughs> it bothers me that I gotta still keep talking about my show. You feel me? Here we are, all the way at the crazy house. It is still something about my show. It's still something about my motherfucking show. You fat ass bitch. Like, let me tell you something about yourself, nigga. Like, before you try to say that I set anybody the fuck up, I don't have to set nobody the fuck up. Imagine I was still up. I didn't get knocked out then. That was the So you wasn't night. asleep? No. When he not, no, when I got knocked out, I was asleep. Oh, was you went bad. night night. You went I night night, nigga. I'm gonna tell you now. Like, I ain't no. I fought, bro. I lost fights. Like I said, I've been stabbed, shot, jumped, beat up. I've been all the whole nine. So if you lose, bro, you gotta lose with honor. But after right. I after I got knocked out, I got right back up and knocked out again. Nigga, stop doing. Like okay, I said, so, two right, broken so, hands. So man. how many knockouts are we at? Are we at? One and I don't two, know. two If and I'm one, being honest, like, I don't two know. And two. Honestly, no, I don't think I knocked him out clean the second one. Now I'm up two. It's two one. Okay, I'm two up one. Two. No, hold on. No, no, hold on. So you up two? Yeah, two up. So Mac down one. Down. Like I said, the only All way right. he got me, I promise you, you're going to see it. I had literally took my cast off and got into it, bro. If I don't care how hurt I am, how beat, bro. If, you, if I'm at that point, I'm at that point. Like, It's your boy Duquesne. Welcome to the crazy house. That's my mother. Hello. Mother me, Kai. Hi, Kai, mom. How you doing? Mom. That's um, part of the answer, to be I honest. Know. I know. And you can <laughs> only pick one. Who's my favorite? Strong. <laughs> Gucci. Diamond. 
One word. One word. Um, ambitious. Real PG. Yeah, <laughs> ambitious. Real Yo, PG no, all right. I told her how I feel, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I've learned not to judge people. I'll and tell I was, you real shit, because this is something that people need to know about me. Don't worry. I got you. No time. Yeah, well, I've won. Neither do I. You never oh, have. why don't I? You never have. Uh, just cuz. It's hot and I'm at the crib, so like I could do what I want. You feel me? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Mari I said hello. Oh, <laughs> love him. That's my mother. Hello. Mother me, Kai. Hi, Kai. Mom. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? And we back in this motherfucker. Yo, welcome to the Polyfly Podcast with the most controversy. Kai Suave, formerly known as Cardi. So, I'm not even gonna waste no fucking time. Favorite cast member, least favorite cast member. Oh, um, I think I already did this before, so it, it doesn't matter. That's what my it question. Over? That's my oh, question. Oh, word. That's your yeah. question. That so, fuck Mary Kill. That's my shit too. They've been stealing that. I asked that every single fucking interview the last two years. <laughs> least favorite cast members clearly matter. Ain't no matter. joke. But besides Max, since y'all already know that, I think my least favorite cast member definitely Blueface. Okay, you know what? Definitely, like. I know what I want to do. It's just nah. Like I'm cool with Shorty. Like it's cool, and I got so much to say. But the way these motherfuckers, fake motherfuckers, want to call you fake. You said seeing in the uh, seeing the shit. She looked older than my grandmother. Shorty's like 28. She looked older. My grandmother's 60 something, still walking up Stone Mountain. She looked older than my grandma. Yo, so many folks, man, y'all already know how to feel about Blueface. Shout out crazy. She look. Well, the original Polly Fly show was here. She look crazy. The original <laughs> Polly Fly like, show was here. I seen some shit, so I just said, eh. Motherfuckers just look at the ass, eh. It's cool. Favorite cast member? Damn, that's harder to answer, to be I honest. Know. I know. And you can only pick one. Somebody gonna be mad. Who's it gonna be? Who's my favorite cast, cast member? Honestly, it would have to be between Big Body and uh, K Goddess. Big Body? Diamond? Yeah. No, not Diamond Wait, Body. Big Body. Uh, wow, you don't know the Big Body. She needs to put some respect on your name. She's a I'm sorry. private dancer. Private I'm dancer. Sorry. Yeah, no, nah, she's. Look, well, I've been producing the crazy house. Yeah. Road she's been working. Season one. She's been working. Yo, bo bo nah, Body is one of the most genuine people. Um, she was actually one of the first. She was the second face I've seen besides Q. And, uh, Body, yeah, nah, she's very genuine actually, like that. So it's between Body and uh, K Goddess. K Goddess actually got there a little bit. So she got there like halfway through her pressure. Well, Goddess, I'm gonna give you a freebie and say that word. I'm about to list off some name word to the body. Say less. Let's have it. You ready? Let's go. Kenzie. <laughs> okay. Uh, Y'all gonna see why I say that episode Gucci, two. Okay. Gucci. Um. Misguided. Okay. Diamond. <laughs> I don't really want to say the first. No, say it. So it's the crazy house. Come on. Uh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond. Come yo. On. One word. One word. Um, ambitious. That was real PG. Yeah. <laughs> ambitious. That was real yo. PG no. All right. Yo, because I had a conversation with Diamond. Mm -hmm. I told her how I feel, and that's what I'm saying. Like. I've learned not to judge people, and I'm gonna still address because we. Can, I can still fuck with you and not like what you do. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. And okay. not agree with you right, do. Right, so right, that's right. sort of where I am with that. So to me, be uh, to me being respectful, I'm saying ambitious because I fuck with Diamond and she's very intelligent. So. You know, the king of controversy is just gonna say what I gotta say. I Go think, ahead. I think you hit. Yeah. It's giving you hit. I'm not gonna lie. But you're not gonna tell. And I'm gonna tell you real shit because this is something that people need to know about me. Oh, just because I want to hit doesn't mean I will. Just because I can't. So you're hit a sapio too. Doesn't mean sapio. A sapio Sapio, yes, yes. Sapio, oh, I said it wrong. Sapio. I've been. Pop your shit. Gu Gucci leading the Pop way right now. My my, my son Gucci leading the race. Gucci, Q, Diamond, now, they all lead in the race because everybody see what's going on. But now, when like, I tune in, just know I'm a fan look, favorite. Look, this one they start calling me Messi. Oh, go on. Cause I saw Kenzie say earlier that she ate it up and it made my mouth drop. I said, okay, she getting disrespectful. 
Let him have it. Let him have it. You gotta let him have it. Kids are getting disrespectful. You gotta let him have it. It's okay. If she feels that way, hey, any player is supposed to feel like they're the best in the game. Facts. So, nerds treat you weird a lot of the time, huh? Who? Nerds. Like the niggas that don't get no pussy. Like me as a lesbian, yeah. niggas who don't get no pussy hate me. Real bad. Niggas that get pussy. But niggas that get pussy, we be cool. I, but I'm, I'm I guess that's the dynamic though. Like, nerd, I mean, nerds sort of. I actually. Uh, I learned a lot from you. Like no, nah, I'm a nerd myself. Yeah, I'm a hybrid. Yeah, because actually... I'm talk, a hybrid. No, nah, like, even though I crashed my bike, um, I'm going to do the work myself. I fix cars, and I went to high school for automotive technology, so... so I'm actually a scholar. Oh, you know. yeah. Like, I'm What's your time? Leave it. I'll be 24 and the 24th. It might 24. be early, but you might be one of the most honest... Yeah. Oh yeah, I tried. I've Cause always the tried Libras to. I know be lying. Yeah, we we are lies. We are lies. We got capabilities. I ain't gonna hold you. It just depends on. Nah, me, I'm different because I've been told I'm a lying Libra my whole life. Like that narrative. So I, I'm legit. I'm, I'm too honest out of folks sometimes. Tell the truth that lies to you. Facts. That's some real shit. I don't wanna play. With, I get real mad. You see a nice lion? I don't want you to see this. I've like, seen it. It's in your eyes. <laughs> I don't He's think really crazy, crazy. crazy is not easy. Well, crazy is what they call it. Right, so crazy is know. what they think oh. we're a century. <laughs> it's all on how you look at it. So, yeah, I agree. So, so what, make, what makes you tick? That's a list. Come on. Things immediately. Every time. Spit. Um, and my family. Yeah. Like, um, I, I've taken hits, and I mean, like, of course, and then just like, I could really take being berated with words for my whole life. Like, I'm not used to that. But once you, you know what I'm saying, physically assault me or violate me. So, is that where your, like, resilience come from? Because you dealt with it, and I'm not going to deal with this shit ever as a fucking game? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 was I just maxed out on this. Yeah. Oh. Nah, but that's that little people syndrome you got. You got yeah, because it, I mean, nine out of ten times, if I let yeah, you hit me, and <laughs> I got, I gotta hurt you real bad, yeah, like I said, and fast. And that's where it's it like I don't have a whole lot of chances. Like, nah, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 motherfuckers yeah. that's really gonna try you, or the motherfuckers that ain't it's like, regardless. And you care, people. bro. If you was to hit me right now, I'd hold you down and I'd get you out. Like, try me or a gentleman. Yes, ma'am. I like, like I said, uh, the only way I really swing at you as a female is if you spit on me still losing myself because i still feel bad i still wouldn't want to do that and i'd be right. mad it's like no she disrespected me on another type of level that's you a got 20. respect for yourself i'm better than that even though just stand so much more like yo i was able to take that and keep moving i come from a military it makes you right military background okay. i was a bouncer for security i've been I shot I yeah, i've been that's shot that's stabbed that. knocked out jumped all of that you know what i'm saying i roll with some so Nah, because it made me who I I mean, yes, of course. Like, there's definitely things I wish I could have changed and different, but it all makes me who I am type shit. Like, these fucking projections and shit, they really turned out to be blessings. I can honestly admit, I wasn't ready for those things. I wasn't ready for it mentally, oh, yeah, for emotionally. Sure. Oh, I wouldn't have sure. been type shit. My career started early. So. Because it happened so fast. Like once yeah, you were able to take account, yeah, once you take accountability for shit, like of course certain things are okay. nice, like certain things you Speaking can't change. So, <laughs> so yeah, who you swinging on first? Straight up, who you swinging on first? Right here, this ain't nothing. This is not. That's why it's healed up. I fought. <laughs> so so you're not head. gonna let it hit? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm trying to be so chill. Cause for it, then yeah, we can't act. So who first? Who's first? I got thing with already trying to reconcile with it. He act tough for the internet. He act, he act, bro. It's crazy, and I don't even want to keep going there. But he, the way he does outside, like he's legit talking like us. But then he really like a little dude in the closet. So it's like, bro, if you like, I don't care who you niggas already had an idea and figure you were by. Some of the toughest niggas I know are yeah, yeah, on some real shit. So like, yeah, yeah, but they're not, understand. they're not a bitch though. It's exactly. a difference between. A, I fuck with gay niggas. I don't like. I like, can't. So it's like, you know, like how it's even a narrative. You know, how like I, the fact that they just taking advantage of me being so comfortable and cool.
Oh yeah, nah, it's because yeah, you got nah, like, real shit. I don't get mad at your <laughs> shit like, because niggas is DL. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, get yeah, mad yeah, at y'all yeah. for questioning. I do not get mad at y'all for questioning me. Only time I get mad at you is that in the third. That's the only time I get like, and I don't even react on that. I get mad. still internalize it. Like I'm, not, I'm ignoring. But Facts. besides that, I'm not worried about it. Niggas is bitch ass. If she choosy, baby, gotta pay the fucking fine. I ain't talking here and there, bitch. I'm talking every time. I'ma send it like a, I gotta send it like a. Hot potato. Ooh. These bitches been around. Hot potato. Hey. Yo, Yo, bitch been around. Hot hey. potato. My bitch been around. Hot potato. Hey. Yeah, bitch. All these bitches been around. Hot potato. These bitches been around. Hot potato. Yo, bitch been around. Hot potato. My bitch been around. Hot potato. All these bitches been around. Hot potato. Dig it. Make sure you put that apostrophe above the E. Suave. Hot potato. These bitches been around. Hot potato. Yo bitch been around. 